What's going on? This is Derek Jasinski, national level bodybuilder, currently getting ready for the 2015 NPC Nationals. Currently, I'm about five weeks out. Today, we're doing the best chest in the West workout for you guys. Upper chest is the most important part because it's what stands out the most. So you want to you really grow the upper chest as much as possible. And that's why I try to focus more on incline movements than I do on flat or decline movements. And that's why I did pretty much four incline exercises today. We're at Metroflex Gym in Long Beach. Warm up, hit a couple sets on um, the hammer strength incline press. If I just start with a lower weight and I would just work my way up and that kind of warms me up in the process. Starting out with a plate and then, you know, just working it all the way up to about four, four and a half plates on there for the heaviest sets. Second exercise, it's like a plate loaded flat bench press machine. I started out with like two plates and then just kind of worked my way up to my heaviest set. Usually on my, my presses and my heavier exercises, I start with a little bit lower weight and I I work my way up into the really heavier sets because that way it gets my, my joints warmed up. The third exercise, it's a new one. I've never done this one before. It was kind of like a hammer strength incline, but the grip got really narrow up at the top and a little bit wider at the bottom. It was different, it was interesting, but I got a really good, you know, good contraction and good squeeze at the top. The grip width you use on different exercises, you know, it's also gonna make a difference in the part of the chest that you hit and uh, the squeeze that you get sometimes at the top of the movement. We moved on to our plate loaded dip machine. The angle of your upper body is gonna play a huge role because the more you lean back, the more you're gonna use your triceps, the more you lean into it and roll your shoulders forward, the more it's gonna focus on your chest. The seat didn't go high enough, so I had to kind of stand up the whole time on it and really lean into it. And then we moved on to uh, incline dumbbell flies, and I, I even lost count of how many sets I did on there. And I just kept trying to go up and up and up. I kind of focus on going as heavy as I could on those ones. I usually try to work to failure by the end of every uh, exercise, my last set on every exercise. I feel like if I don't reach failure by the end of every exercise, it almost feels like a wasted effort. You know, it's feeling good, so we just kept moving up, and that's why I kind of lost track of the number of sets because it just felt like I could do more. No, it is, I guess, supposed to be a finisher for most people, but for me, it just, it works out that uh, I can go heavier and, and I feel them better. Finally, just to finish off and go a little bit higher reps and and just work a little bit more blood into the muscle. 
just a machine, flies for three quick sets. Something like 15 to 20 reps for each of those sets. And uh, yeah, that was the finisher. So yeah, it was, it was pretty taxing, especially with the posing as well, but it felt good. And I think I'll be uh, fairly sore tomorrow. <laughs>